And we begin with that outage at Kansas City International Airport. A spokesperson for the airport says a fiber cutoff airport property is to blame for no internet, no phone service, and plenty of long lines there. KCTV 5's Kelly Taylor is live out at KCI. So Kelly, you have some good news for travelers tonight. I do have some good news, Brad. Brad, internet services are back up here. Most of the airlines are back up and running, but I mean, I'm already halfway away from where people started out earlier this morning, but you can just kind of get a sense of about how far away they were from Southwest Airlines, and there were not a lot of happy passengers. Not happy, just really not happy. I mean, yeah, it's a long line and we have a flight to catch. Really long lines. Southwest employees told travelers the wait was about a half hour. Our computer down, so we're just having to wait in line here. We'll have to manually check in on the back side. I'm glad you said 30 minutes. That, that, that makes me feel a lot better. So we can wait that out. Ladder? Down the hall at Delta Airlines, multiply that by three. A little over an hour and a half now. Travelers were frustrated and worried about missing flights because a fiber cut in the area knocked out internet to five airlines at Kansas City International Airport. I'm a little bit nervous, yes, due to this long line. But if you're from the area, you're probably used to checking in and getting through security in no time. I reassured her that uh, we'd be fine. There wouldn't be a line on a Monday morning headed back to New York. Not a chance. Many airlines had to manually check people in because their systems were down. It was it was kind of cool, actually. I'm glad to say I got to do it the old fashioned way. So. Over at American Airlines, it was like night and day. No, there's no line. Now, a local Internet service provider told an airport spokesperson both people in Kansas and Missouri were affected by the fiber cut. But thankfully, business is back to normal. Live in Kansas City, Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News. All right.